It says indeed stacked. Sorry. Introducing the challenger from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunter! And his opponent from London, England, weighing in at 215 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar! Feel the atmosphere. Everyone's on pins and needles. The WWE Universe knows just how much this title means. I'm calling it now. Tonight is finally the night when we see this frog in the are. WWE oh. Universal Championship run come to an got end. The my the champ 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 champ. Against every challenge that has come his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh you God. Sound like broken records protecting this guy. History has proven that the Not good third. tonight. Interfering this since it's no DT. Oh. Champ's got the pen to retain. The challenger gets a shoulder up. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. Measured kick to the vertebrae. Mounted punch oh, Nasty stomp to finish it off. And for Probably, the moment, and, uh, gets knocked yeah. down a peg. You would think Gunther would have reversed that. But... Ooh. He's got him in the crosshairs. Oh. Look at this. Open a fight. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh well, I I got most of them there. Most of them. Uh oh. Harlem sidekick. Gunther just can't seem to stop this offense. Gunther has to create an opportunity to retaliate. Oh. Uh oh. Dragon Slaper. Oh, oh. Night, night. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot. Of... Oh, rolls through. Nice escape. Oh, stiff punch. Holy meet the barricade. Oh, no. What could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up oh. The barricade. Yeah. Nice. That looks bad for Gunther's face. Oh. With the reversal. And Gunther needed that badly. That might be what gets him out of jeopardy. Gunther gets stymied. And now he's really falling behind. Yeah, and he keeps oh. struggling to slow the opposition down. And he gets set back into the ring. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Oh. Why was I facing? I know. By the turnbuckles. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Oh. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Gunther cuts him off. Ooh. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. No. Oh, new champ. No, he kicks out. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Oh. Taking it outside the ring now. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. Setting it up. Thunderous close. Oh. Maybe on the ladder there. Setting 
the ladder up ringside now. This is looking dangerous. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Boom, running STO. Nicely done. Ooh, man. Ooh. Well, kicks like that are less about injury, more about insult. He knew that was coming. Gunther sidestepped that one. To the face. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Working his way up the ladder now. This is a critical moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Slam incoming, no. And Stump delivers the inverted DDT. Heading up the ladder. He's heading for higher ground. Go, I can't look. Well, for the love of God. Hey. Shaking impact delivered from up on high. All the way from the top of the ladder. Wait, you hope? Mm. Oh. Yikes! That ladder really won their bell. Using the ladder as a weapon. Ouch! Whip back into the ring. Out! Bam! Ooh, listen to the impact. Back elbow. Oh. Oh no! The title hands. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. And Guther definitely oh. thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Jarring impact. That's mounted with punches. And not and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. More attacks to the neck area. Not a pretty sight to witness. Up into the torture rack. Feast your eyes. Looks like the champ is going to retain. He makes the cover. Oh. The skin of their teeth, and don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now. And it's gonna take composure now. Could just need one more big move. Reversal. He is looking to do some serious harm. And Gunther got turned around there. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Uh oh. Gunther fears no man. Oh. Nicely done. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. No way. He'll take things into the ring. Oh, oh, oh no. That was playing. Oh, did it again. again. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Big boot. Incredible. Uh oh. The vicious Gunther building up that energy. Things are not going to be pretty. Man. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Setting it up. Boom. Oh. Evading offense. He clearly oh. has dangerous intentions in mind here, gentlemen. He avoids the damage. Paying it back with their own counter. Off the barricade. Oh. Delivered into the barricade. He takes control.
Oh. Let's get him back in the ring. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. something else it seems oh I um, didn't want to get the food there Ouch. first on the shoulders oh feast your eyes can be will the rain continue cover and the official misses <laughs> it tainted victory we just saw there here is your winner, and still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar! How can this keep happening? How does the WWE Universal Champion keep surviving impossible odds? He just beat the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWE history. And he is on his way to a... Before we introduce our next guest, let's set the stage. Cody Rhodes is still the World Heavyweight Champion on Raw, providing some stability after a tumultuous period that saw several champions come and go. I don't understand why we do these recaps. Our audience watches the product. Nonetheless, I'll play ball. On SmackDown, after continuing to dominate, the Dark Horse has become the workhorse, now holding the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for three plus years. Didn't Miz and Roman Reigns think the champion stint would only last three days? And now he's approaching Roman's record-setting run. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't we ask Miz about that misguided prediction right now? Please welcome our guests, the SmackDown and Raw General Managers, the Miz and William Regal. First of all, I take offense to the accusation that I ever doubted my champion. I know how to pick a horse, and in this case, I was behind the dark horse since day one. That's rubbish. You never wanted him to be champion, and you've done everything in your power to try to put an end to his reign. Don't insult the audience, Mike. They watch the product. That's what I've been saying. You want to do this, Regal? At least I have a cohesive show. No one can keep track of what's going on on Raw. It's like a freaking middle school play. Guys, come on. How do you even know what's happening on your show? You're too busy of filming episodes of your terrible reality show that no one watches. You just think you're better than me because you've made a living on the myth that you're some kind of technical wrestling genius. Well, I'm here to tell you no one who matters cares. I agree with some of what you said. I am better than you. That's why they made me the general manager of the A-Show. Okay, maybe we take a break, yeah? No, we're not finished here. You think Raw is the A-Show? Yes, I do. But we can officially answer that question in the ring at Survivor Series. War Games! Fine. SmackDown will see you and beat you at War Games. You're pathetic. We'll see who's pathetic, mate. Okay, let's get to that break. I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games, the blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean, I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. Man, I am shocked you think I feel that way. Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old BFF Finn Balor on board. You're welcome. And even better, 
I'm going to let you choose your other two teammates. See? Told you I'm on your side. I still find that hard to believe. So Finn and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. Great. Make sure you choose carefully, though. Since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this. <laughs> Grayson, shouldn't you be down in NXT losing title matches? <laughs> Hilarious. But full disclosure, the Grayson War effect has lost some momentum ever since you lost in NXT and caught me off guard. That's one way to describe it, but why are you here? First of all, the biggest box office superstar can go wherever he wants. But I'm here because I have the perfect way to rejuvenate my career. I waltz in a SmackDown and beat the WWE Universal Champion. For someone who just admitted they've been on a cold streak, I don't see that happening. Besides, I already beat you twice. Actually, more than twice since our rematch was an Iron Man. But you never once put your WWE Universal Championship on the line in our matches, while I risk the NXT title. It's only fair if you give me a chance at your gold now. I'm not sure you understand the meaning of fair, but what's in it for me? I heard you're looking to fill out your side for Survivor Series, and who better to team with than a former War Games winner like myself? Of course, Miz would probably make me team captain once I'm WWE Universal Champion, but we'll worry about those details later. Hmm. Yeah, let's give him Fine. a shot. I'll give you a title opportunity in exchange for considering you as a teammate. But don't back out when I beat you again. Good on ya. And same goes for you when I'm the champ. But again, we'll worry about those details later. Grayson Waller 3.0. It comes one half of the current SmackDown Tag Team Champion. Yeah, according to Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Grayson Waller dun, dun. has no respect for tradition. It basically wants to dismantle the old guard of NXT. I fail to see the problem, Saxton. You better respect Waller because he's the future of NXT and WWE. Like him or hate him, Waller can do some amazing things in the ring, and I can't wait to see it. It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe. stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. For a superstar that always has something to prove, his next opportunity starts now. 
I probably would stumble down the ramp. Introducing the challenger from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller. And his opponent from London, England, weighing in at 215 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Hoping that handoff to the referee won't be the last time he sees his championship. The most glorious title in the world of sports entertainment. These two are no strangers to each other. In fact, if they didn't constantly beat the hell out of each other, they might even be friends. Meet Grace Waller by Pinball Ambition. Well, he is a smart guy then. He's either going to walk out of the WWE bum, bum, Universal bum, bum. Championship or if rumors are true, Ooh. the chance to be on a War Games team. Oh man! Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! Quick kick out! He is definitely struggling to oh. keep him down at this point. Oh my god, in the spine! That'll make your legs go numb. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, stomping away. Stopping their opponent. Oh, a forearm smash. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Look out. Somersault. Hey. Punch Toss caution out the window. Go to all this off. time. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Thrown out of ringside. Some would say, man. some would say it's in. My soul. Basement drop kick. Oh. Making it hard for Don't the what I was doing there. Move it all. Could be a winning strategy. Ooh, skull oh. rattling. Rip cord applied. Oh. Boom. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Oh. Uh oh. And the challenger towing the line of what is acceptable. In this title match. Oh. Oh no. Oh. DDT. Devastating flourish from Waller there. And I don't think anything can stop Grayson now. Yeah, his instincts are taken. The challenger is not in a great place. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from oh. here. No. Ooh. Only a one count before the kick out. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Brutal knee to the side of the face. Uh-oh. Harlem side kick. And it looks like Walt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Playing possum. I love it. The champ not letting the ref get to two. Keeping a loss at bay for now. What a no. counter. No. And Gracie gets it turned back on him. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Oh. No. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Big elbow. Uh, caught that foot by surprise. Oh. No. Oh. Right to the jaw. Someone's about to take a nap. What? Basement haymaker taking a oh. nap. Oh, right in there. Oh. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Ooh, harsh kick. Ouch. They 
perched on the shoulders. Pop. A championship level move. Two. Three. The champ stays the champ. Here is your awesome. I'm going to get right to the point. You need me for war games. Okay, I'll cut to the chase too. I'm 3-0 against you. So what makes you think you're worthy of being part of Team SmackDown? I've been in two war games matches, which is two more than your zero. And Finn, he's never been in one either. You need my experience. In fact, you guys should be begging me to join your team. I don't know about all that. And even if I did want you on our team, I don't think there's any way I could trust you. You don't need to trust me. I'll be your hired gun. You tell me who to take out, and I'll get the job done. I'll think about it. No, I meant that literally. Tell me who to take out, and I'll go do it. I shouldn't have to, but if it proves you need me for war games, then I will. Okay, fine. But I want you to do this in an actual match, not attacking someone from behind, like you usually do. Whatever. Just name an opponent. Uh, I'll go with... Eh. We'll go with Damien Priest. We'll try to beat Damien Priest. Then we'll talk. Done. I could have gave him Omos, but... If... What? I had gone... Oh, so I'm playing as Kevin Owens here. I assume. Which makes a nice change of pace. Here comes the prize fighter. Kevin Owens is always ready for a fight. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 266 pounds. Kevin As gritty and tough as they come, KO has to be one of the most hardened superstars anyone can face in this business. And that is how he has spent nearly a decade as a top name in WWE. There have been very few folks to main event a single WrestleMania, let alone two. But KO has done just that. Yeah, KO's not the kind of superstar you'd picture as a multi-time WrestleMania main eventer, but he's made an entire career out of defying expectations. The punishment has arrived. And Priest is more than happy to utilize brute force to get what he wants. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from New York City. Weighing in at 249 pounds, Senor Money in the Bank, Damian Priest. Damian Priest is dead set on growing his legacy, on bringing more and more glory to his name. And he's done just that, Cole. A modern day bad guy picking fights and winning gold. But it's never enough for the power hungry Damian Priest. Well, he better be ready for a fight because he's in the way of the prize fighter right now.
Kevin Owens always has a malicious look in his eye, but tonight I'm seeing an extra violent twinkle. Now, there are rumors that the WWE Universal Champion is looking at Kevin well, Owens. Okay, nice. Partner. Tried to Kevin meet Damian Peace. As one of SmackDown's best weapons against Raw. Well, Kale didn't do good so many favors when he picked this opponent. He's got a tough hill to climb to prove himself here tonight. Oh. Quite get him there. Oh, costly error there. Going for the ride. The follow-away slam. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. Oh. And free size and agility is negated as he faltered there. Big splash. Completely steamed. No, no, no. Don't be energy to stay in this matchup. Boom. Ooh, well, some mud hole stumbling. Oh. Oh. oh man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. <laughs> what a punch. Whack. Oh god. Oh, it's a little cap. Will this be enough? No, stops the count. Um, nuts. Just pure. Too early there. Oh. The win. Somehow breaks the count immediately. Are you kidding me? Not even a one count. A rope step to bank on Hilo. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for blow. Oh. Oh, oh. bringing down the sword and administering judgment in a truly ruthless fashion. Oh, to take a oh. oh, is that what it takes to beat KO? That's gotta be it. There's two. What? Only two? Owen stays alive. KO will not give up this fight as long as there's a breath in his body. That was close, but Damian Priest doesn't look like he's letting that distract him from the task at hand. Oh. Stalking a downed opponent. And a forearm right to the face. Nice takedown. Stack them up. Cover! A oh, great counter to cover. Makes a cover. Counter! Cover! Try to end it. And the count doesn't even begin. We're well into the match, and he still seems so fresh. Oh, wait a second. Roll up. He breaks the ref's count before two. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Oh. I am oh. now. Oh no. From the top. Crash landing. Uh oh. Stunner. KO about to sew this up. Shoulders down. Two. Three. Hey. Just one stunner is all it took. for Damian Priest here tonight. This was judgment befalling Priest, as it eventually does us all. Um, let's see. Talk to Troy again. 
you here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Eh, not quite. Survivor Series will be here before we know it. So come on, go find some teammates now. Or we'll have to choose for you. Thanks, Troy. What would I do without you? Okay. Mine suppose um what? Oh wait. Oh okay. Uh hmm. let's see. Austin Theory, Logan Paul, Kevin Owens. These are all locked. Let's go for Kevin Owens. And next one. Let's see. These are a lot. Let's go LA night. Wait, um. No. Wait, um. How do I select the. I want to select the other. Go to the other. LA Knight. Oh, wait, no, LA Knight's locked. Damn it. So I've only got. <laughs> so I have to pick Grayson Waller. Why is. Mmm. Why are you LA Knight and... Mmm. Fine then. Let's just see. to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Actually, I have. Excellent. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants. And Miz has big plans he wants to kick off for the Build to Survivor series. Well, I can I can't pick anyone else besides Waller or Kevin Owens, so that's just yeah, yeah, we're ready. I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. So I'm serious. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their war games team? 
Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. Mm. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. And there it is. And Regal gets nailed by SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so-called Dark Horse, invading Raw was a slap in the face, and now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend accidental or not well for now it looks like team smackdown is going to retreat this didn't break into an all-out war but they delivered a strong message here tonight i agree corey we didn't know who would represent the blue brand survivor series and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage i can't wait We did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um, tensions escalating and who knows how Raw would retaliate, Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that... He wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay. And you want my decision now? Yes. And Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Mm. I'm face AJ myself. Have, uh. Pick Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, or Grayson Waller. No, um, hmm. I'm gonna go with Finn Balor. Good. I'll let the boss know. <laughs> 